Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I got, I hope you guys enjoyed the last video that was posted with Chanel teaching us how to cook that bun shrimp pasta. And if you haven't seen it, I'm gonna post the link below so you guys can go watch it, right? So, I'm Alyssa and I'm gonna give you an introduction to me. So, I'm 24, I'm an accountant. I went to the University of Technology where I did my degree in accounting and marketing and I'm now studying my ACC which I intend to finish by next year. So this is a prelude into what I'm doing. So I went on Instagram and I asked people what they would like me to talk about in this young people how to. So this will be, by the way, so this will be like not just a one Sunday thing. This will be like, I'm going to do this every Sunday. So you guys can leave in the comments what you guys want me to talk about. People already sent me requests that they want me to teach them how I got my license. And I <laughs> and people go see, but yeah, when the time comes, you guys will know. So yeah, how to get your license, how to do a car loan, stuff like that. Yes. Yeah, so today, I will be showing you guys how to calculate your income tax and how to do a budget. So people also requested this because. All right, you get a contract, right? A year contract say, you know, your basic salary at X, your lunch allowance at X, your traveling is X. And you get excited and you say, yeah, man, so much money my have to spend. No, sweetie, no boo boo. I wish I saw it did go, but I not saw it go. Yeah, all if for income tax, NIS, NHT, all of that come on to your pay before you have your actual net pay that you can spend from an calculated and budgeted expenses off of so that's what i will be getting into today and as i said guys leave in the comments anything else that you want me to talk about i'll talk about literally every and anything that you guys want to do so let's get into the video welcome back to this video hi guys welcome back so let's get started so this is our some random numbers that i pulled <laughs> they're realistic to me so this is what we're gonna do the salary off of so the basic salary uh, this person gets is 105,000. they get a lunch allowance per month 14,800. they get a clothing allowance per year 65,000. over time 23,625 dollars and 30 cents right and over time can be calculated based on time and a half or double time right so time and a half would be like you working regularly in the weekday while double time would be you working on a weekend right okay so they get traveling twenty one thousand nine hundred and thirty nine dollars and ten cents per month so their gross pay would be the full sum of the allowances plus the basic salary it would a nice see the gross pay they look nice with a nice for all of that we are getting done oh. But sadly, Anna Soigo. So we pay 2.75% of for NIS, which the cap is $125,000 per month. So if you earn $126,000 per month, you only pay NIS off of $125,000 per month. Pension, 5%, which is based on how much you want to throw. So if you want to throw 10% pension, 15% pension, it's all, it's all up to you. And pension is a saving where that normally you don't get back until you reach the age of 65. NHT, which is 2%, Ed tax, which is 2.25%, and PAYE, which is 25%. So let's get into it. Guys, this is a boring topic. I don't know why I don't want to do it, but we're going to do it. So the gross pay, which I tell you, is $230,364.13. We're going to less pension contribution out of it, which is 5% of the basic salary. 5% of the basic salary is $5,250. we are going to less NIS from it. NIS is $125,000 by 2.75%. Reason being why I put 125000 is because this person earned $230,000 and I told her that the cap for NIS is 125000 So the percentage would only be calculated on $125,000. So all of this will give you statutory income, right? 
awesome. So, after the sentence or income, we're going to list our ed tax, which is sorry 2.25 percent of the statutory income the nht which is two percent of the gross pay okay guys so ed tax is 2.25 percent of the statutory income and nht is two percent of the gross pay so then we're gonna come to the part where everybody hates cut everybody in jamaica hate their income tax including myself so we're gonna list the income tax threshold which is $125,000, $125,008. That's the income tax threshold per month. Per year, the income tax threshold is $1.5 million. Right? Okay. So the taxable income now is what we list from the, the, the income tax threshold less the statutory income. So the taxable income now is what we actually are going to pay the taxes on. So we're going to pay the taxes on $96,668.63. So the income tax would be the taxable income by 25%. So your income tax would now be $24,167.16. Which would bring your pay to $187,914.47. Yo, so you see how the thing wicked I come from $230,000 to $187,000, right? So this would be your net pay. How much you have for budget off of. So going on now to the budget. So I put the net pay here. So in a regular budget, I have, in my regular budget, I would have my car loan, my credit card, my groceries, entertainment, so you know when they want to go party and breath with a friend them, clothes, toll, gas, utilities, savings. And if you're in our relationship, I would suggest that you budget for your relationship as well. Just saying, car broke people know for in a relationship. So I'll get to that in another video, another day. <laughs> So for the car loan, you can say a car loan is $10,000. Just an example. Guys, these are all examples. So I'm about to come rob my yard. Because everything I saw, a number where I make up what I'm head. So your credit card could be, say, you pay you use $15,000 worth of credit card expenses. It can be less, it can be more, based on how much you spend on your credit card per month. So for groceries, I put $25,000. Normally in my groceries, I include, like, my KFC stop them at evening time after my come home from work. The pizza out, your Wendy's, like fast food. I normally include that in my grocery. And as I said, entertainment. You want to go with your friend and go watch a movie? Entertainment. Clothes. I put clothes in my budget because I buy a lot of clothes. So that might not be in everybody else's budget. So that could be a zero for you. But clothes is in my budget. $10,000 for toll, as I said, not everybody takes the toll, so that won't be in your budget. Gas, $20,000. So if you're not driving, you, know, you would have car loan, you would have gas, you would have bus fare, right? Utilities, $10,000. So for the people that will live at home with them parents and them parents also loving and make them pay no bills, you know, can't have zero, can be less, can be more based on how much you pay for light water, how many utilities that you have paid. And I always suggest to people to put savings in their budget. Save every month, guys. You don't know what can happen. See, COVID come here, guys. If you were saving, you would have money put aside. It would have really a worry. You would have worry, you know, but you would have time to worry because you would have been saving. And as I say, if you don't want a relationship, budget for your relationship. If a girl like me, she won't go places. And you're going to need to have a little money for so, you know, go out and have a look of fun. So, guys, this is the budget, how I budget, and how I do, and how you calculate income taxes. So, you know, you would probably put more in your budget, less in your budget. It all depends on you as a person and what you would deem important, right? That's what you would put in your budget, expenses that you have to have per every month. And every month, your budget is going to vary. But I suggest that you always do your budget and calculate your pay before you get your pay. That's what I do so that I know I can foresee everything that's going to happen. And I can say, all right, this is how I'm having on my head and this is how I'm going to spend. So that was it for my How to Do a Budget video. Guys, 
budget and the same for every month here. Yeah? Whereas if you have a car, you don't know if the car broke down. Anytime car you say you get money, if you get like an incentive, they get like an extra pay and you care all year about that, your car just broke down and start the problem same time. So also budget for miscellaneous. I forgot to put that in there, but yeah. I hope you guys like my video. <laughs> It's a little boring, but it's a topic that I think all of us need to know, you know, financial security and stuff like that. So guys, like, share, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, and just have a great Sunday, a great rest of your Sunday. And thank you guys for watching. Bye, guys.